So, Boris, can you tell us about uh, the current state of the labeling, labeling of CBD products in the UA? Well, uh, the labeling regulations differ from pro different product categories. Cosmetics have their own uh, legislation flavor, uh, legislation framework. Uh, E-liquids have their own, and foods and food supplements have their own as well. Uh, so there are, when we talk about the foods, there are many edible products here shown on, in this exhibition. Uh, we, we have to understand there are strict regulations about how to label foods and especially food supplements. What are the active ingredients? What are the, what, what is the carrier? And the, the big question is, what is CBD oil? In my perspective, CBD oil does not exist. What exists is a hemp extract or extract from can cannabis sativa flowers. That's what I think is the proper name of the product. And of course, it can be diluted in any kind of vegetable oil, but then it's oil enriched with hemp extract. So the term CBD oil is just a term, but it doesn't really exist. Yes, and if somebody calls it oil, it doesn't make it oil by definition. So do customers actually know what they're buying, but they want to have some hemp oil well, but, but when you, again, when you say hemp oil, it should be hemp seed oil, yes? But uh, extract can be diluted also in coconut oil or olive oil, right? But the, uh, actually the biggest problem, as I see it, is the content of the THC, because THC as a substance is forbidden in all foods and food supplements on the European market. Uh, so the problem also is that we have like seed oils or hemp seed protein powders as a food sold in Europe, but there the THC levels are only very, very small and we are talking about maybe 0.0005% of THC, which is 5 milligrams per kilogram or less. Uh, this is, uh, should be considered as safe, however, we still don't have in Europe a regulatory framework for THC as a natural occurring plant toxin. We don't have that. Uh, similar situation, for example, is with poppy seeds. There is no regulation on opium alkaloids in poppy seeds on, in the European market. So every country, if there is not a European regulation, they have the right to create their own national regulations. And this creates a complex mess uh, on the European market. So I always advise to the food operators or to companies that put any uh, hemp products on the market to really study the national rules, maybe talk to the authorities and try to find some agreement. For instance, uh, as we speak, hemp protein powder is being pulled from the shelves in Germany and other European countries because the food inspectors found levels of, of, of the THC in the hemp protein powder. So the situation is very unclear and, uh, and uh, me as a member of the board of European Industrial Hemp Association, I am active in the working group for the THC and CBD and we are trying to propose some scientifically backed regulation on both residual THC and also CBD in different kinds of end consumer products. Do you think this proposal will find some positive reception? Well, we are already in touch with the general Directorate Health, DG Health in, in Brussels. We are talking to the most competent people. Uh, they seem to be listening to us. They understand that the industry needs reasonable regulation in order to expand. So uh, the discussion is already progressing on the THC level. Uh, it's been taking for more than two years, but we are, I think we are moving closer to some agreement. Of course, the, the food scientists and, and, uh, and the officials are always um, scared or they want to be very diligent and they propose safety factors which are maybe twice as high as, as we suggest, but we think uh, we will work out a reasonable framework within hopefully next year or year and a half. Sounds actually pretty good. Yeah, because uh, otherwise, uh, how can you want? How do you want to invest into your business when suddenly 
your products can be pulled from the shelves, of course. So, of course, we need sound and, and, and fair rules. And the industry then should stick to the rules. What we see in, uh, on the market, especially on the CBD market, is, uh, is a misconception about the THC content. Yes, you see like CBD oils or other products, hemp ex extracts, very rich in CBD containing too much THC for the product to be legal. Of course, police cannot put you into prison because they keep it less than 0.2%, okay, but this is the criminal perspective, but there is a food safety perspective and these products can be inspected and can be uh, banned from the market very, very easily. So. Uh, we have a in my companies we have very different uh, uh, quite different approach we really follow the laws and uh, we try to put the products on the market which are properly re re registered we always talk to the n national authorities we have our products on the spanish market as well registered as food supplements with all the paperwork so there are ways to do it some but th those are hard ways but we do it hard way to make it safe for the business and the distributors and the end users. So if a company wants to contact you just to have some advisement, where should they um, address? Look, uh, uh, well, of course, my, my business is CB Depot. So anybody can uh, write me to Boris at CB Depot at EU. Uh, I have also worked officially for the AHA, so they can maybe also contact me through the European Industrial Hemp Association.